Manuel Campos didn't hesitate to approach me when he saw my sign. Well, there's a catch. You can't keep it. Oh, for real? For real. And when I told him that he had to pay it forward, he knew just how to pass three on. Well, his name's uh, Joel McFadden. Am I on I'm not on TV, am I? Um, actually, Manuel, oh, you are. But he wouldn't let his nerves get the best of him. He was determined to help out his friend. He helps the church out. He's like a he's like a ministry of covering drug addicts and gang members too. He's always helping people, you know, and uh, sometimes he just he goes for broke, you know what I mean? In fact, Joel himself is a former addict who's dedicated his life to giving others a second chance. Manuel knows that firsthand. He's <laughs> helped you out of some jam. Yeah, well, he's helped me out a lot, my family and stuff, and he helps me spiritually and stuff, so he's a good guy. After hearing such an inspiring story, there was only one question left to ask. So you have time? Yeah, I have plenty of time. Do you know where he is? Yeah, I know where he is. He's off, uh, off of Plaza. Right here uh -huh. in front of your friend's house. Ready to pass three on. You uh -huh. excited? Yeah, I'm real excited. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's good. It's better to give than receive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with uh, WBTV. Would you mind if we came inside? Oh, uh, what can I, can I ask what this is about? What's, what's going on? It's kind of a surprise. Why don't you tell Joe how we met? Well, I was going to Chick Fil A and uh, Blockbuster, and um, and I see them out there, and they had a sign that said three hundred dollars. So I went and asked what's up with the three hundred dollars. Yeah. I said we can pass it on to Joel. He's a good guy. He's crazy, man. <laughs> he needs eyeglasses too. You see his yeah, eyeglasses. Yeah, he all my pals. <laughs> <laughs> Say, don't, don't put you on blast drinking. too yeah, much. But Joel is willing to share his story if it will help someone else. Ten years ago, I was an alcoholic, bum on the streets. I uh, found Christ, found that that was the only way for me to live my life, so I devoted my life to Christ. So you take people that you don't know yeah. into your home? Yes, ma'am. Why? Well, somebody did it for me. 80, 300, Big Joe. Ah, I leave, man. Oh, man, Big Thanks, Joe. man. Appreciate it. Man. I don't know what else. I, that's, this is a <laughs> blessing because we... we Stop it, you're, ki you're killing me, man. This is an extreme blessing for my ministry we have here. And whew, we've been going through some tough times, really. Tough times made easier by an unexpected blessing. It's just another way you're passing three on. I'm Brigitte Mack.